Alright everyone, welcome to a new series that we'll see what happens with. Oh, uh, this is kind of loud. And now there's no music. Alright, we'll see if we can fix that later. Alright, so. What's going to happen is... Crusader Kings 3 is coming out tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing a video on that. But because of that, I don't know if we'll be continuing the Monarch's journey. But we're probably going to continue a new series. Pro hopefully, uh, we're going to be doing the Harry Potter mod for CK2. Because that's supposed to be out tomorrow as well. Because we're not going to stop CK2 just because 3 is out. Now, why are we having this video and not like the Monarch's journey? Well, the last video for Monarch's journey was... Uh... Easy, right? It was just play through the play through it. We'll get the gold for the king and then just play through the dynasty to get the prestige because we couldn't get the last one. So I don't know if that'd been interesting for you guys to see. And we could have just gone to the next one, but instead of just starting a new one the day before, it might not even matter anymore. I don't even know if it'll you know affect anything afterwards. So I thought I would try. Six Ages, Ride Like the Wind. I've got this game a while ago. It's the sequel to uh, Dragon's Pass, which is an old game. But I remember playing that. So we're going to try this out. And this is probably going to replace YouTuber's Life if this gets good. I've never played this. I don't know. But YouTuber's Life was only supposed to be like a little joke for foreshadowing my career as a YouTuber. Which is going exactly as I expected so, if you guys want to continue, I'm not ending YouTuber's life, I'll put it on hold, and if you guys want to watch it, you let me know, and I'll bring it right back, because I'm trying to see what sticks here. So far, you know, kind of got some views for CK2, kind of got a view some views for uh, Mountain Blade, but we're going to try this one. Alright, first time booting this up, first time playing, let's see. Alright. Uh, tutorial? Oh! Is there a way to, like, lower the volume? Alright. Directly small clan which uses bronze weapons and guards. Emperor Yelm or Nialda. Oh man, that is a loud game. One sec, let me see if I can turn down like volume on my computer or something, cause this is loud. All right, hopefully that's better. So what should we want to do? Earth or shining above? no one was ever hungry. Yeah. The storm god Orland led a conspiracy of rebel gods against Emperor Yell. Armed with the new power of death, he slew Yell, sending his light to the underworld. When the sun fell from the sky, the empire fell apart. Smaller suns left the world in Yell's place. Darkness and sea gods became a threat. But Orland and his violent allies dominated. What was the worst danger your ancestors faced at this time? Uh, trolls fled. Always hungry, they tried to devour the herds. Build a great ship to save civilization. When the floods receded, Anaxial became emperor, and their ancestors led the resettling of Navora. Was crushed under a glacier. Over this generation, it's moved several more times. The gods make life possible, aiding your herds and crops. After your migration, you'll need to restore knowledge of their secrets and gain their magic. Oh, yeah, this is the tutorial, so obviously, I just don't think our choices matter for this. Alright, 
sacrifice. To learn magic sacrifice for mysteries, to general sacrifice and valuables worth at least five cows help get the attention. Alright. One sec. I forgot to set a little stopwatch here to see how long I've been recording. So, we're gonna do that and just add how long? About five minutes. Alright, so about five cows. Alright. Reveal the workings. Now you can build a shrine. So, how do we build? Build. Consumes goods. Shamanic rituals or reach God the gods war given away or kept. Alright. Two game actions move time through one season. Alright, each season is eight weeks long, a two week sacred time it ends each year. Found leaders give advice and try to carry out your decisions. They'll do a better job with both if they have good skills. Alright. Might be a little loud still, so let's uh. Hopefully that'll work. Click an advisor to see their take. A bizarre monster burst from beneath the earth to destroy a house belonging to the Part family. It snares Chonbi, an elder of that line and the group of a foremost pendant. Nearby folk rush to pull her away from him. Wherever he touched her, her skin bubbles in his way. After its initial exertion, the creature lies slowly, oozing it along the ground. You give it a wide breath, but can't leave it there in the middle of the village. Alright, so I can aid in an Elmel ritual. This is a chaos creature. Okay. Good to know. Well, 20 go cows worth of goods and efforts to rebuild that house. Check the earth for infirmities. Each failed attempt will harm our clan mood. That house will be expensive to rebuild. I can't even look at it. Alright, so what you're saying is kill it with magic, and then it's gonna be expensive. Elmel, the Bright Guardian. Well, five it said, so. So let's do six. Let's do a couple of goods. That didn't work. Okay. And let's kill it with fire. They only have goods, not food. Your hungry returns from a sojourn to the shores of the Black Eel River to report that foreigners who live there might be vulnerable to attack. Leaders, as they are called, pose no great threat to a clan like yours, but your hunter, Jedi, saw them lose several fleet. Saw them lose several fleet spearmen to the Sky Raiders. Whatever goods they have left are now vulnerable to a quick raid. Oh yeah, and another reason why we're not doing CK2 is, I did do another video after yesterday's video went up, but for some reason, my recording did not work, so I did a whole video, and... I just didn't want to restart or just be like, hey, lost the video, so we're just starting here. So that was another reason why I decided to do this one instead. But because of that, I did the three videos like in quick succession. So my voice was messed up and it's still a little eh. Because I played for, you know, a couple of hours and I'm not used to that. So, well, that and talking. Great, great for goods. When our people helped Anak steal the sailor, build a ship to save the Empire from the blood, we swore that water would always be our foe. The leaders are foreigners. They worship an eel or something. They are so beleaguered that they will probably give us more in tribute than we can take in a raid. The trick with leaders is in beating them, just getting them to stand and fight. People won't like it if we let a rival take the weeder's goods when it could be us instead. We raid or curse them. Alright. Civil 
will raid them. Pick a leader and click choose. Clicking skills. Sort the available. Alright, so. Leadership. Or combat. In a full raid, so you can only send a few swords, elite warriors, and bows. Small parties can be sneakier, but larger forces are more effective in a fight. Alright, they were they said they were beleaguered, so three swords and three bows. Four bows. They escaped us on boats, we gained two cows worth of goods, multi colorful feathers, and plush shell jewelry. Represent your foe. Alrighty. The value migrated to is already settled by riders like you and chariot driving wheel people. Alright. So, this video is probably going to be a tutorial one, and maybe we'll get to our clan creation at the end. See how long this tutorial is. Clan attitudes are complex. Liking or fearing, you are usually at middling levels. We can swing into hatred or mockery. Bottom of the right. Of oh, each screen. Oh. So amber. Seven stars. We're not liked. We're not feared. We have one hate. I'm assuming that's the weeders. And we're mocked by two. Alright. Click an emissary button to send one. Who do we want to send it to? Where are we? What is our clan called? I don't even know. Who are we? In Navorum, everyone was much closer. Sky Racers hate us. And the seventh is like... And the seven stars like us. Alright, bright eyes must respect our might. So, uh, seven stars. Let's send an emiss emissary. Oh. The Copperhead Clan owes your clan a favor, so select them. Their chief is Chukord. They owe us a favor. They sell slaves, but don't keep them. Dialogue picks a decent emissary and the default escort should keep them safe, so click send. Gauls clan to school. Brogals to survive and prosper as the war between the gods continues. First goal is to settle. Alright. Oh, is the tutorial even just me leaving, leading into Ugh. the game? Maybe? Oh, I think it is. Could have sworn there were more choices. I remember watching a video when this game first came out and they had more choices, so... We'll probably just do the restart after the tutorial. Some fields are not ready and you need to clear more forests so your herds can graze them. We're the silver mares. Alright. So. What? What? Some fields are not ready and need to clear more forest. So. What is that? Well, Magic Clan. Uh, reorganize. Sure. Ah. Clear pastures. Uh. We had a clear land for our cows and goats. Alright.
giants bathe their children and the water spirits get tribute from the local people. You ready to make your own story? Oh, alright, yeah, it did send us straight back. Alright, so we get to uh, create our own clan. It's only been about, what, 15 minutes, I want to say? So let's do this. Rebuild a shattered land and bring in glorious. Coming later. Can you survive when the world's broken and the gods are dead? Ooh. Coming. Oh, so these must be like DLCs or expansions. All right. Or maybe other games, maybe? Oh, well. Ride like the wind. All right, so what do we want to do? Well, we did Nialda. So let's do Emperor Yelm. The golden age ended when the storm god, Umoth, forced his way into the world through a flaw in the sky dome. Constantly moving and violent, he rebelled against Yelm. Yelm's celestial sons responded, sending Umoth to crash into his death far north. Other gods fought as well. As instability spread, humans became more dependent for survival on the gods. In turn, humans helped the gods. Which famous event of the gods did your ancestors support? Seventeen Banner Camp, when a wise Relander advised Corlavis how to ally the bird riders. No gift to the blues. Dusanari, the cow mother, Usaron engraved the first ledger of tracking. The Grain Contest. When the Wares Murder joined us as citizens. Alright, so I'm assuming this is battle. So who do we want to be? Smurd joined us as citizens. Uh, let's do the Battle of Akashar. Higher than average ability in their combat. Alright. The Ram people who worship Orland may prove to be the toughest foe throughout the game. Moth's son Orlan fled a conspiracy. Alright. Trolls fled. The War of Many Sons when pretenders to the Solar Throne. Uh, when the City of China when it turned into the Scorpion. A worse danger came later. Help the Emperor avenge it? What should we pick? Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, cool. Many of the gods died. Hey, Lord. Yalor of Nabora found the crippled spirit who had once been the winged fanged hippogriff. The winged fanged hippogriff. Saved her from death and made an alliance. The Yaller gave her a new name, Gamari, and she allowed him to ride. The Yaller returned to your ancestors with the, the secret. They became the first riders. Oh, hi, Yaller. Hi, Yaller. Oops, sorry. Storm and Cold continued their conquests. They sacked Alemper, the Dara Happens Empire southernmost city. A great sheet of ice crushed. The city of Varapur, despite its volcano gods, it ground relentlessly south. Rather than cower inside, the citizens of Navarra chose to move away from the glacier. Which god did you bring? God of glassmaking, goddess of the red dye insect, god of smiths, and god of writing. Uh, let's be god of writing. We can read and write now. Your 
ancestors had to sell. They had to fight plant folk, stone folk, grand people, and trolls. Which group was your ancestors? The best herders, the most warlike, the wealthiest, the best magicians, the most dissatisfied. What would be the most dissatisfied? I'm tempted to pick that one. <laughs> So what do we have? We can read and write. Our leaders have higher combat ability. We want to go all in and be warlike? Or do we want to be a jack of all trades? Satisfied, that's like a negative, so it'll make us more difficult. So let's do the best magicians. Your answers across the mountains to the south. Who did they find on the other side? Hunters and gatherers, and goat herders, and farmers. Ancestors might have taken outsiders as slaves, but those days are past. How did you treat the herders? Uh, took them in as citizens. The herders shared secrets with the goat mother, inviting the new clan several times. The charioteers also grew and moved into your valley. They said the ice was on the move and made war on you. Oh, here we pick the difficulty level. First campaign, and I don't know how difficult this is. Let's do, uh, should we do easier? Yeah, let's do easier. Because if, uh, this is a good series, if this is a good game and we can redo do a replay, we'll do a harder one. Oh, we can name our clan. Oh, we can change any answer. Satisfied. Alright, what if we do hunters and gatherers? Those still the hunter. Easier than last time. Clan was the most dissatisfied. During the second migration. best. Farmers or goat herders? Actually, let's do hunters and gatherers. Let's try to see if we can be uh, kind of the Mongols here. Hunters and gatherers eventually shared secrets of Dostal the hunter with the clan. And... No. Hunters and 
Yeah, the worst. Full citizens. Yeah. Easier. Golden hand. We give you the golden horde. Nah. What was it? Let's be. I kind of do want to do a little something with like Mongols or. The Huns, because we are riders. Let's be, uh. The. What do we want to call ourselves? Uh, you know what? We're just gonna be the cons. Entire Khan clan south over the mountains. Many said this would be our last migration with the ice growing to the north and barbarians to the south. The Black Yule River. We are known. Alright. We have not had a chance to finish clearing land. We need to renew our knowledge of the god after migrating. Magic to the fields. All rituals are useful. Since we prepared for the migration with the rights of our ancestors. All right. We have, all right, 13 are in the reserve. So let's go. Two in pastures, one in the fields. That. What is that? Health? Yeah, let's do some exploring. One in war. One in diplomacy. So we'll have one in reserve. Uh, no, let's do... Let's not do crafts. Three. Three in reserve. So, wilds, exploring. Alright. Let's proceed. We just migrated, so it's no surprise that people are a little concerned. Preparing more fields. Not finish constructing. All right, so ventures. Let's expand the fields. One per year. Preparing more fields. Uh, fields aren't large enough. We're going to expand. Alright. An emblem woven into your story tent has begun to sing as figures acquire an animation. The emblem depicts the exodus when Hael... Hyalor, I believe. In the city of Navarra, after encroaching ice, had rendered it uninhabitable. How do you respond to this wonder? Song shall exalt the heroism. Whenever we have a chance to enhance our magic, we should take it. During the Exodus, we gave the wheels a chance to come with us, but the Rigans, they thought they could defeat the ice. Alright, so let us. Spread the word. 
No one thought much of our omen. Alright, well that didn't work. Alright. Maybe naming ourselves the Khan clan was a bad move when we're not a warrior all in, you know? Uh, the screen shows the size and mood. Pick new advisors by reorganizing your council. Alright. Good, good, very good, fair, good, fair. Good, very good, good, very, very good. Ooh, excellent. Uh, good, 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 good. Fair, fair. Good, good, good. All right, so we're all right with that. All right, so what do we want to do? Adventure. We can't start another venture this year. Okay. Brutal protection. All right. Cool. Let's do magic. If we will take magic to reliably feed the clan, you want to learn blessings to help produce food. Oh, is this why we didn't... If we picked farmers, we wouldn't be able to grow our food. Mm. All right. What else? Taming wild horses. We could build a temple to Elmel. All right. Da, da, da. So what does Pella do? Bless barley. What about Elmel? Bright God of War. Here's our chances when defending. All right, let's do uh, one for Bella. Pella. Uh, Osara, fire arrow. All right. Uh, main art, tain our temples. Could build a temple. All right, let's sacrifice to Pella. Yep. No, let's do five. All right, we learned it. Good. And it's been about half an hour, a little more. So we're gonna call this a video. If you guys like it, let me know. I'd be happy to definitely continue this. I think it saves automatically, doesn't it? So, uh... Oh, cool. So we're gonna let this go. Alright. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment if you want to tell me anything. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. And subscribe if you want to learn more or see more stuff from me. Alright.